Hello and welcome to I Nurture videos. In this video, we will discuss about the duties and rights of unpaid seller. At the end of this video, you will be able to explain the role and duties of an unpaid seller. A seller is a person who sells the goods and receives consideration. According to section 45.1, the Sales of Goods Act 1930, a seller is said to be unpaid seller when the whole of the price has not been paid or tendered. The seller has important duties to perform in the contract of sale. The responsibilities of a seller includes delivery of goods, the perfect tender rule. Holding goods at the same time of sale and giving necessary notifications regarding delivery to the buyer. Arranging for the transfer of property in goods to the buyer. According to Section 31, goods are delivered as per the contract terms. According to Section 37, 1. Delivering the agreed only for quality of goods. According to Section 38.1, delivering the goods in installments is allowed only if requested by the buyer. A perfect tender includes delivery of goods in conformance with all the terms and conditions of the contract. Having a good vision will assist the marketer to make an effective marketing plan. Marketing plan can be done by research, analytics and experimentation. Organizations should research to get knowledge about the customers. Focus groups, survey and industry analysis are the tools used to conduct research. Analytics is used to improve the promotions and development of the products. Organizations should design an experiment measure based on the research and analysis. The rights of an unpaid seller are right of line, right of stoppage in transit, right of resale, right of withholding delivery. Right to line is the right to hold the goods by a seller who hasn't received payment. According to section 461a, an unpaid seller has the right to line. If there is no condition to credit on the goods sold, if the term of credit for the goods sold on credit has expired, insolvency of the buyer. Transit is the intermediate stage in the delivery of goods. An unpaid seller has the right to stop the goods even if he has partnership for the goods. Due to insolvency of the buyer, Unpaid seller has the right to stoppage in transit when he has not received the payment. According to section 461c and 54, an unpaid seller has the right to resale the goods under following conditions. If the goods are of decay in nature, not receiving payment from the buyer within a reasonable time even after giving notice of his intention to resell. Unpaid seller has the right to withhold the delivery of goods to the buyer if the property in the goods has not passed to him. Let's have a quick recap on what we discussed. The transfer of property in the form of goods from the seller to the buyer is the contract principle for goods sale. According to section 18, the property of goods cannot be transferred to the buyer until and unless the goods are determined. Thank you for watching this video.